Hey, how's it going guys? For today's video, we are going to be doing a Ricky Henderson debut. This is actually one of the cars that I've been really excited to finally get to try. And we finally got those 300 stars. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at his stats. When it comes to this card, there's no real hole for him. I guess the one hole that you could say there is, is his limited power. But 76 and 86 with the patch is still definitely enough to hit a home run. When it comes to everything else, he has 99 speed, 99 stealing. So of course, he's going to be your very traditional leadoff with 101 contact and 108 contact. 112 vision like i said the only real hole is his power because even his fielding 86 fielding with 83 arm strength but because of his speed he's going to be able to track down everything as i said earlier he is your very traditional leadoff hitter so we have ricky henderson hitting first for us today then willie mays ron jeremy frank duke alomar is now all the way down to the six hole we may change it we may not in the future but for right now alomar is going to hit six for us today hornsby and pudge while we're searching for a game i just want to say thank you guys for everything you have done for me from twitch to youtube i really can't say anything but thank you all right so our opponent today is going to be the new york vindicators sti 1489 we both have nolan ryan on the mound he's got alomar adam jones his cap guerrero jr i wish i still had him chipper so vlad's got to be at first mookie he's got a good little team and especially when it comes to the speed front I think they're other than Vlag Road Jr. Everyone should have speed. Our opponent is 106 and 49 on the year. So this should be hopefully a pretty good game. I'm not even going to lie, especially if this is Hall of Fame. I don't know what my opponent's rating is. Hopefully he is World Series. But if he's not, this is going to be a very quick game for Nolan Ryan because his control, as you can clearly see there, we might be able to get lucky with a line out and Duke misses it off the wall. That's easily going to be a triple for our opponent. So as I was saying, it's probably going to be a relatively quick outing for nolan ryan his control is pretty bad we did give up a very early hit i'm not accepting the friendly quit i trust my offense i trust what we're going to be able to do we're going to get these runs too two one we're going to go right back to the changeup. that's going to be a perfect pitch i'll let him score the run no issues one run isn't going to make or break us let's just make sure we get that out so he was very early on the fastball last time to his righty so we're going to throw some sinkers away and see how he handles it get him to Probably get a little underneath it. Pop fly for our first play of Ricky Henderson. Easy, very routine. Two down. I feel like our opponent's going to be dead red fastball. So even if we miss this changeup, it may not be that bad. As I called it, throwing his changeup, especially that uh, the amount I did throw that inning, I knew I was probably going to miss my spot. So I was okay with being a little risky. First at bat for Ricky. Of course, it's going to be against a righty. Nolan Ryan. Let's see if we can do some damage. 2-2 the count. We've been fighting. We've gotten some good pitches to hit. Let's see if we can finally get one in play. Ricky gets into one. Is his first at bat in rank season? Is going to be a home run? It is. Let's go. 76 pop. I told you that was still going to be definitely plenty to go yard. So first at bat for Ricky. We end up tying the game back right up. Willie gets into one too. I don't think we got under it enough. It's going to be a line out to center. Because I'm not really seeing Henderson's like stance, I, I think if you are not seeing him stick his butt out, he actually does have a pretty good swing. 3-0 to our cap. Of course, anytime I'm 3-0, the first time I take to see if our opponent is just going to groove it. And he ends up walking us. He might have tried to groove it, but he might have missed. Oh, we missed that one with Frank. I was ready for it think we just dropped our pci got under it deep out to right ends up being ball four again first and second for robbie alomar maybe having him hit six isn't a bad thing ends up being i swung at a terrible pitch i noticed my opponents using chipper more and more it looks like people are understanding the wave of chipper and how good he really is but we do get him to miss it weak pop fly just barely still in play oh one the count i'm gonna give him the same pitch i feel like he's not looking for fastballs away so he might just be taking the whole time and seeing that swing he does not look comfortable we're gonna go ahead and throw that sinker inside and we're gonna see what happens as we float it but thankfully, it's Mookie. If that was Frank, we're prob probably kissing that one goodbye. First pitch to Gwen. We're going to go ahead and use the 12-6. I did look up on Daddy Leagues what Nolan Ryan's control is, like per pitch. The two pitches that I'm going to be trying to use the most are the four seam and the 12-6 because those are the ones he controls the best when it comes to his changeup and sinker. It's like 60 and 70 control, so not that great. Hornsby gets into one. There should be no doubt about that one. First at bat. Just like last inning, we get a leadoff home run for the inning. Punch since the patch has been an absolute animal. Let's see if we can get another pitch to drive and absolutely smoke it. We get a pitch to drive. We smoke it. That is also going to be a line drive for a hit. It ended up tailing down. So that's going to go ahead and bring up Nolan Ryan. Let's see if we can avoid a double play. 
And we're gonna do just that, smoke it up the middle. First and second, no outs. We need to at least get one more run this inning. If we hit another home run with Ricky, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I did not think he was gonna really get a home run his first at bat, but let's see if we can make it two for two. Three won the count to Ricky. I know he's gonna give us something. He doesn't want bases juiced. Ricky gets one to hit, but it's gonna be a deep fly out. The good news is that should be able to move us over to third with 72 speed. It's not Willie Mays in center, it's Adam Jones. So we're gonna be able to get there plenty of time. Willie smokes it down the line, but that's the bad thing about Chipper. His defense isn't crazy good. We might have been able to just avoid that double play. Ron shoots one, but Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is a beast, just like Frank at first with that common fielding. Holy crap. Frank, absolute dude. That was a fastball down the middle. We didn't get under it enough. We just smoke it to center field. Let's have ourselves a good, clean inning here. No runners on as we throw a complete dot. Robbie Alomar with the goaded defense. That's why you need good defense on your team. That's the only reason, like I said, why I'm not using Chipper. His offense is absolutely amazing. But when it comes to defense, with how well people are going to be able to hit, you need it. Nolan Ryan is an absolute beast at hitting. Oh my God. Again, defense matters as Willie Mays was able to track that down. Two outs. 3-2. I'm going to kind of throw me this get me over changeup. He hasn't seen the changeup in a minute. Ends up being a great pitch and he did sit back on it. But thankfully, I don't know if that's RNG Jesus helping us out or what but it stays in the park. We wanna try and get as many at-bats with Ricky Henderson for this debut as possible, so we need to make sure our offense is moving. 3-0, what are we gonna get? I'm still, last time he walked us, so I just wanna see if he's gonna throw it down the middle. He doesn't, ball four on four straight pitches. Now we got Robbie Alomar, and we need to get something going. Robbie gets one by Vlad this time. No need to worry, the common defense is not going to hurt us and show off some gold glove effort first and second no outs so as i said it was going to be a short leash for his nolan ryan too we're already seeing trevor hoffman in the third inning and a fastball upstairs it locks us up a little bit but we're going to go ahead and hold our runners base is loaded no outs that should be bringing up pudge if i'm not mistaken that is the absolute worst thing that could have happened for us i'm not even gonna lie a pop up in the infield doesn't even advance anybody doesn't even get the run so now we get nolan ryan and i feel like already i could guarantee a double play three one to nolan ryan he's gonna throw like a get me over change up or something it's a fastball down the meat it's gonna be a line out so base is loaded no outs could he get out of this jam ricky gets into another one but i can already tell it's it wasn't like hit super hard it's another line out for ricky base is loaded no outs and we don't even get one run as disappointing as that is, it was more due to just bad timing. We did obviously have a terrible at bat with Pudge, but then we bring up Nolan Ryan, he lines out, and then it brings up Ricky and he lines out. There's nothing too much we could do better. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a fastball away as he's not necessarily on. He hits it hard, but it's gonna be very routine for Ron Jeremy. Throws a missile across the diamond, two down. And we're gonna try and dot this 12-6, and that is gonna be ball four. So here is Chipper, first pitch. We're gonna throw that sinker. That's gonna be a good pitch. We blow it by him. Next pitch, you know what? He hasn't seen a whole lot of fastballs in, and that ends up over the plate. It's gonna get over Alomar's head into right. Should only be first and second. Hopefully that brings up his pitcher. All right, 2-1. We've shown him a lot of off speed. I'm gonna keep it up. We're gonna throw a 12-6. Or actually a change up, never mind. It eats up Hornsby. We need to try and get Tony Gwynn to hopefully hit into a ground ball. And we get just that, but it goes up the middle. He's gonna send his players home. Throw it to second, holds him behind. God, somebody slap a tag, do something. We're doing everything right. We're getting weak ground balls just they're they're finding the hole for our opponent so this is not a good inning for us oh one we're gonna try and jam him in with that fastball he's late hopefully that doesn't eat up our cap we go the easy way to second we're out of the inning only one run off that air right, we at least need to get that run back this inning we got willie mays we got the heart of our lineup to do it we get it by the third baseman hit it hard we definitely rolled that over but a base hit nonetheless we might be looking to get pretty aggressive with willie mays try and get him in scoring position right away where he took a change up over the plate because I think we got a good jump slide in safely it was worth it. it was worth to take that change up because we got the easy bag Ron Jeremy gets into one but even though that's a deep fly out he did his job we move over and advance the runner to third with one down anything hit as long as it's to the outfield or in play on the ground is going to score another one 
Frank. Oh, Frank gets into that one. That is a no doubt shot. We, you know, it ends up being a home run from him. So taking the steal and moving him over is a little risky, but it ends up still paying off. So our opponent is bringing out Andrew Miller to face Duke Snyder. We're going to see a lot of sliders away. Hopefully we get a fastball inside because that's what I'm looking for. 2-1, we were late on the changeup. I think he might be trying to sneak in a fastball now. He does just that. We slammed our PCI. That's all me. Just terrible PCI placement. Alomar, the very next pitch we swing at. We need to be a little bit more selective. We're swinging at bad pitches now. Got to make sure that doesn't happen anymore. 2-0 the count to Cody Bellinger. He brought out Cody Bellinger for his pitcher. We throw a fastball over the heart of the plate. RNG Jesus took good care of us there. It is a line out just like some of the ones we've received. 0-2 to Alomar. I feel like he's probably geared up for the fastball. So we're going to see if that changeup does some good work. It does. He's out in front, but he ends up fouling it off. So now I'm going to go ahead and try and tease him and hopefully get him with that fastball up and in. That is an absolute dot. We froze him. You couldn't ask for a better pitch. 2-0 to Adam Jones. We're going to go ahead and throw him a sinker. We get a weak ground ball to Ron Jeremy. He's got an absolute cannon. No worries. Out of the inning. Good news for us is Ricky Henderson is due up this inning again. Assuming we get one hit. Hopefully that goes and falls in for us. But it does not. Get a fastball over the plate. End up missing it. Thought it was going to sink a little bit. So that's why we're underneath it. But he, he threw a four seam. With two outs and nobody really on. And he hasn't hit Nolan Ryan well. We're just going to go ahead and leave him in. As he drives one for another line out. Man, Nolan Ryan's hitting really well today. 0-2. Oh, I'm going to see if we can freeze him again up and in. But this time with a sinker. Ends up freezing him enough. It ends up over the plate. But we do get the strikeout. 1-0 to Vlad Jr. We're going to go and throw that four seam. He absolutely crushes it we've done a pretty good job of neutralizing our opponents chipper jones but that might be the one to do it he lines out again man rng jesus taking good care of us this inning ricky gets into another one but i think we did just miss that one as well he's one for three on the day with a home run but we need to do a better job of actually trying to square things up oh two to willie let's see if we get something we get some good in a up and a way to hit. We were definitely a little out in front. And because of that animation, we're going to get a double. Ron Jeremy's been held quiet so far today. 0 for 2. This is where we turn things around. And psych, just kidding. Get a pitch to hit. And we missed it again. Ah, we got another one to hit. This inning was just filled with us choking. 2-1 to Mookie. We're going to hit him with a sinker over the plate. We get, oh, I thought it was going to be another lineup for our opponent. Ricky's going to hopefully be able to run this one down. He picks it up. It's only going to be a double. I thought that might have been a triple. 3-1. We're going to give him a fastball away. He drives it the other way. You know, he's being just like us. He's either just missing or hitting it hard. Reyes smokes it into the gap. Because our opponent brought out a righty off his bench, I feel like he either only has lefties left or he's pretty confident in Eloy Jimenez. So we're going to go ahead and keep out Nolan Ryan. We get him to weak jam. Please tell me, Duke, you're going to get there. He ends up going through a dive, but that's okay. Second or third with two outs, there's no real difference. Base hit's going to score him anyways. All right, we're rolling dice. We're going to go ahead and keep Nolan Ryan out for the rest of the inning, or realistically, maybe just this batter. We're going to see how he does. Throws a changeup over the heart of the plate. We, we gambled wrong. We ended up giving a single up the middle on a terrible pitch. 3-2. We need to throw a good pitch. I'm going to say change up. We've gone to it a lot of times. That ends up being a perfect pitch. We're out of the inning. We definitely need to get some insurance runs because now we're only up by one. Alomar drives that one, and now we're the one ending up with the line out magic. We need to see. Hopefully, Hornsby can continue this inning. Hornsby drives one down the line. I figured that slider was coming, so I was ready for it. We're going to get a double. That's going to bring up Pudge. We need to get this run in. Pudge shoots one right to Chipper. We've had a lot of well-hit balls. Sometimes they're just not going through for us. We're going to go ahead and bring out Osuna for this inning. We throw a fastball down the middle. Not a good start, but he does have good enough stuff, especially with the righty coming up. The cutter change up away. We'll see if we get him to roll it over. He goes with it. We get a weak ground ball, which is exactly what we wanted, and it finds a hole. I need this luck to start happening for us. All right, the way we get out of this is with good pitching, so we need to make sure we throw some good pitches, and that's not the way to do it. Thankfully, he ends up missing that. 
but realistically that is going to go ahead and advance his runner over to third unless we get a great relay that's not going to happen i'm going to go ahead and give him that two seam upstairs see if we can lock him up ends up locking him up enough can we get the double play out of this 77 speed we get out of it that is exactly what we needed we're still up five to four you know what with one swing i want to be able to try and get this home run so we're going to go ahead and actually end up going with adam dunn with one swing in the bat please tell me that's over the wall that is an absolute missile on a hanging changeup. adam dunn goes yard for us off the bench it's ricky henderson's turn i the first at bat I had with Henderson was a really good one. It really was. And then the rest that I've had with him in this game, I keep just missing. All right, let's forget about it. Let's see if we can get Willie Mace to drive something and at least get a double. We do just that, but is his outfield going to be quick enough to get there? He is not. So we are going to get this double with Willie Mays again. This is a run that is actually important considering how our opponent has turned it around. That is a terrible at bat. Well, we need to see if we can shut it down in the ninth with our reliever. We're up by two. Let's see if we can close it out. The first out of this inning is going to be important, so we need to make sure we get it. And we do just that on that pitch, get a weak rounder to second with Tony Gwynn. We keep the speedster off, base one down. Jose Reyes is much better on lefties than he is righties, so we're going to actually go ahead and go to our legitimate closer, Goose, and see if he can shut it down for these last two outs gotta hit this slurve inside if it hangs this is gonna be bad but it ends up being pretty good another weak round ball to alomar two down one away from ending this game feel like he might be thinking that four seam is coming so i'm gonna change my mind we're gonna throw that slurve he sits back on it well man we should have just went with our initial opinion and stuck with that fastball here's alomar this could be dangerous alomar is again one of those cards with a glitchy pop so we need to try and contain him and that is not a pitch that's gonna do it realistically but thankfully our opponent just misses it we're out of the game we went six to four i'll take it player of the game for us ends up being willie mace he was four for five with two doubles two singles rogers hornsby three for four a home run frank thomas one for five with a home run and ricky henderson one for five with a home run as well when it comes down to it do i think ricky henderson is worth the stubs that he's listed at right now i think of like 80 or 90k the answer of it will be yes he's a great fielder he's got good speed actually amazing speed especially with stealing he has great contact and yeah his swing is a little bit different in terms of how he's sticking his butt out but if you're playing in strike zone it's honestly not bad and he for just the swing aspect he does create good exit velocity as you saw for the home run unfortunately the next four at bats we did do terrible but that was because of my input not because of the games or his so i would highly recommend this card i think he's got the tools that you need especially for a left fielder He's well worth the 80 90k thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's content please leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel you guys have a good day and night thank you